Welcome back guys. Just feeling a little green around the gills, so bear with me. But uh, this one is about intro cameras, and initially I was like, you know, it would be pretty easy, wouldn't it? And then working with them, I realized, yeah, there's going to be some things people are going to miss with this because it's not self-explanatory, and it's not as easy. Um, but this is going to get you set up and get your map intro cameras exactly how you want them. So let's jump right into it and see what we got. So to start this off, we're going to go into gameplay, match flow, and grab an intro camera. We're going to move this into the corner because the way I'm going to have it is it's going to be looking down kind of like this and then move across the map or across the room. So this, uh, when you use these, it's going to look at whatever this little thing right here is looking at the lens. It's going to be looking straight across and the FOV is really low on these things. So you'd more than likely just be seeing right here, even though it's all the way back there. So what we're going to do is we're going to angle this down a little bit after I angle it toward the center of the room. And now we're going to angle it down a little bit. There we go. And these cameras, they work in pairs only. They work in pairs. They don't work in multiples. And I'll show you how to set it up. But you'll have uh, multiple pairs, but you'll only have... They, they work... You'll see. Okay. Um, the sequential order. So we're going to look at the settings now. You're going to leave that at 1. Since this will be the first camera, we don't have to touch that. But sequential order pretty much means what you think it means. Which camera will be used in what order. Camera blend, leave that at start. We're going to change another one, but we're going to get this set up first. Blend time, you want that to about a second, uh, that's what I use. Uh, duration, I use it for three seconds, so that way it kind of stays uh, put and looks looks pretty good. These are some settings you could play around with though, uh, I would test around and see what you like. Transition, I have it fade in, so it's the first one. Now we're going to duplicate this. So let's bring this on over to this corner, because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have it, uh, the reason they work in pairs by the way, is it pans. It pans between the two cameras. It, it will fade in now and then it will turn like this and pan across. But to do that I need to turn it a little bit. Just like that. That'll work. So anyway now we need to set the settings here. These are a little different. The second camera you're going to change that to two for obvious reasons. Then we're going to set this one to end on the camera blend because this is the end of this single pan right here. The pan across the room. Blend time, you can keep all this the same. Just change that to fade out. And there you go, your first intro camera is set up and ready. I'm gonna set up one more, just because, uh, I'm gonna set up in here. The only reason I'm only gonna set up one more is because my map loads fast enough to where you will only be able to see the first one and then some of this second one. So, uh, let's see how we're gonna set this up. Oh boy, there we are. Let's have it facing here. We're going to change the uh, stuff. Now this one, here's how you set up a second uh, a second pair of cameras. Same thing, sequential order, set it to three now, since it will be after those two in the first room. And then make sure this says start again, and the settings I'm going to reset since I've created a new camera. And then the transition is fading. You basically just want to have the exact same settings as your very first camera. Just make sure your sequential order is the right number. So let's turn this down a little bit and we can duplicate it and move it on over here because we're going to be doing the same thing we did before there we go and now we go, go in here and change our settings sequential order making sure it's number four and then the camera blend make sure it says in so one and two start in three and four start in just like that and then five six seven eight and so on Blend time, same stuff, and then just make sure it says fade out. And that's it. We can go ahead and jump into custom games because clearly we won't get this to work uh, in Forge mode. Okay, we're loading in, and there you go. I did leave a little bit of a Slayer. tilt on that one camera, I can tell. See, we got about halfway through that one before it ended. And there it is. That's your intro cameras, and it works pretty well, I think. The only thing is, um, sometimes, depending on how much time you put on the custom settings, it might get jittery or weird. So like I said, you'll have to do some playing around to get what you want out of it. But that should, that should do it. So I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out.